web service for all entities. In VTiger Enterprise, you can create entity record for all the VTiger entity modules. Let's look, for example, which entities we can create from the web query web service. We see a list of all the available functions in this web service. So we look further for which parameters are needed to create a NAT desk ticket from a web service sub code. We see that to create the ticket we need the some parameters and we will receive as the output the ID of the entity created. To consume the web service we have created a simple PHP page and put it on another web server. This page only contains a list of the parameters needed to create the new help desk ticket. So once we have filled in all the text files we can submit to the server the request to create a new entity. Now the entity has been created and we receive back the CRM entity ID of the new help desk ticket created. Now if we come back in the Vitaga Enterprise interface, we see that we have a new ticket with the right ID and the other stuff that we have filled in the web form files. So we see that uh, the ticket 261 has been assigned to user admin to a specific contact and related to a specific product. Nowadays web services are very important because using them you can connect every kind of system in the company between each other. You can access to the Tiger Enterprise web services using PHP pages or scripts, but you can also go in to view the BSDL declaration for the service and you see a complete XML schema that can be used from different programming languages. For example, it's very simple to connect these web services from .NET platform or from Java or any other kind of system that support the web server consuming. So you can open your database information and you can interact with other systems without exposing directly your database or open your firewall. You only have to open the standard HTTP port of Vitiger Enterprise to serve also the web service server.